Today is Halloween, the 31st of October 2010. I I wanted to show you some of the jack o' lanterns that we created. These are basically what my kids drew out on paper and I cut out for them. Um, <coughs> and uh, one I tried for myself as an experiment. So, have a look and see what you think. Um, we're going to start off with um, Jade's um, jack o' lantern. Okay, and as you can see, this is her design. She drew it on paper. All right. But the one test I always like to do with a jack o' lantern. See, that's to say, boo. See, is this? Okay, that's Jade's. Um, that's a common um, test for me whenever we are um, making jack-o'-lanterns. We'll always, oh, I will always um, put them up to the light, and so you can actually have a, you know, they actually just the, the 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 light bulb fits perfectly inside them, and you can actually get an idea of what you you're actually creating here. So that's Jade's. That's my oldest daughter's. That was her design. She drew it on paper, and I went and carved it out. Okay, uh, right, hello again. Um, this is now Natasha's um, jack o' lantern. Again, she drew it on paper and I put it into or c carved it in to these. These are, this is meant to be a sweet, you'll see it better in a minute. And this is a scary face. So if you just come with me again. See and hopefully you should see the sweet better now. Yeah. There we go. I think you can see the sweet now. That's better. And with the scroll. Okay. So you can see the sweet there and scroll and that was her design. She also she also drew it on paper and um, I carved it out. <coughs> now I've been doing these every year and um, every year I learn something new. So anyway, next one. Alright, this is Frankie's. He's my 16-year-old um, brother-in-law. Um, he he wanted to do it himself. So he didn't, you know, he had his own idea of what he wants. So you can see here you got a nice scary face there, straight through to another scary face. Hang on. Here we go. Okay, now put them up to the light. So we get a better shot. Um, there we go. A better shot for you. Yep. Okay, so that's um, that's Frankie's. Um, he, he did really well. He enjoys doing it. Um, this is actual <laughs> the mess we've created. This is everything from inside all the pumpkins. Um, and Frankie, Jade, and Natasha are actually pulling stuff out. Well, I just sat there and watched. <laughs> I did the fun bit. <coughs> Um, a team and Pepe, they were too young to understand what I wanted them for them when they were drawing, uh, what I wanted them to draw for it. So we came up with one, two words actually, to describe what they wanted on theirs, and it was sweets and spiders. So I came up with this. It's just a bit of fun. Okay, you, you can see there that you've got lollipops and sweets. 
and stuff like that. And we turn it around. And this is a spider. A nice big spider. Just change the light there. Here we go. See, a nice big spider with all the legs. <coughs> the reason I'm no, I'm sorry. The reason I'm filming these is because, quite literally, I don't have a camera and I have to rely on the laptop. But also because we don't have any candles, and so people can't see these things. It's just a you know bad week and everything else. So no candles. So it's um, light bulbs and cameras. So that that brings me to um, the, the last one. Hi. Now, the last one is mine. Now, I have been doing this every year for, well, ever since the kids were born, basically. And I've come up with uh, my own unique way of doing things. Every year I come up with different ideas, new designs. I literally use the pumpkins to its last and most potential. Um, like, for instance, if you compare... Um, if you compare Jade's design, um, here is clean cuts, straight in there, straight in cuts, right? No depth, just straight in cuts there or not. But with Natasha's, I decided to change a bit. And if you actually look at it there, like for the eyes, I've cut in at an angle and shrunk the eyes so when the light comes in there's a beam of light in the middle and you see through the actual pumpkin you can actually see the pumpkin glowing red that's the way it should be so you can actually see a, a grain color I've also ex explored slices cuts, pinholes gradients textures and so my own experimental one is well purely that, it's a purely an experiment um, something to add to my own I suppose this is the first time I actually recorded it and photographed them so this is the f my first installment online of my work in with jack-o'-lanterns and we'll see what it's like so bear with me now the theme I chose was a Dracula theme um, it's not great it was only basically thrown together in the last minute took me an hour and a half to do. It's not fantastic, but I have to consider that um, pumpkins don't last forever and within a little while they will start to rot and the structure goes if you put too much detail in. So I'll be looking at new and, new and different ways of putting it in. So I'm hoping, hoping that the camera will be able to pick up on the detail that I put into this. Okay, that's side one, just bear with me. Um. Okay, so you've got a sea, a mountain view, there's a castle, the church, you can sit at light here. Here you can see clouds with a full moon. And again, you got roadways there. And um, you know, it's just using um, a, a knife, a small saw, um, and a And this is my attempt of drawing Dracula. Okay, the light is shining through a bit more because that side is actually bruised. Right, um, this is, well, as you can see, that was my design. It's 
fairly awkward doing this with the with your standard household light. The uh, arm does actually get very tired. I'm also there trying to um, you know, juggle that the, the the heavy pumpkin in one hand and not dropping it, and also the webcam and trying to talk and aim at the same time. It does get kind of awkward and very tiring. But I'm hoping that you you saw something there, and um, I'm hoping that the designs are interesting. Um, this is the first catalogued year, as I said, and I will try and catalog it again every year, and hopefully come up with a few new things. Um, this is the, the first. This is probably. Um, <laughs> that's my favorite thought there. This is probably going to mean something completely different to other people. Um, I do come up with new ideas on individual projects. The pumpkins I do like because I, I, I like to try and play with the light. Um, you know, with uh, this one, I, I want to use as, mission, as little of the actual light as possible. Like, I, I used a, a, a straight cut here for the moon. Um, but only a partial cut in for the clouds and pinholes for stars and landscapes and water. You know, I'm trying to explore light through this way, and I, f I figured that this would be a, you know, a really good beginning of a, a really good beginning of a long-term project. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I hope again that stuff interests you. It is only the first one, first recording. You know, these things are meant to be fun. It's not just about st make, creating a face on a pumpkin and sticking it out the front door with a candle and using it to scare people. It's it can turn into a, a very good project, a, a nice chore. I loved, I enjoyed every second of it. I'm just afraid that my time was limited on it. And again, the pumpkins don't last too long. And on top of that, again, we don't have any candles, so I can't show anybody else. So this is my only way of showing it this year before these go bad and they go into the bin. So anyway, thank you again. This is Halloween, and I'll talk to you again soon.